Hey everyone, Big Paulie back for a brand new video. We're in another month. It's going to be Christmas before you know it. Yeah, only a month to go. Uh, but we are in November now, which means it's time to take a look at everything that I had delivered and picked up for the month of October. Yes, quite a stack on this one. Uh, probably more, maybe more still books than I've collected in a particular month. But anyway, let's have a look and see what we've got. Okay, so I'm not going to go in any particular order on this. I've got them all mixed up. So I'll just talk a little bit about each one as we go through them. So right up the top here. Uh, first one I picked up, there we go, is red. Well, it's not the first one I picked up, but it's the first one I picked up from the stats. You know what I'm talking about. You know what I mean. No, we know we don't know what you mean, Paul. Red the collection. Yes, um, at some point over the past, I've either had the first film or the second film. I've never had them both together. Uh, but uh, I found this one in CEX for a cheap price, so I figured... Why not? Just grab it. It's got both films in one slim case. Well, not a slim case, but one case that would take up a little bit less room on the on the shelf. Yes, I've got that one. Also from CEX, uh, I didn't know actually existed, is the Snatch TV series. Yeah, uh, I had no idea this was actually a thing. It says season one, but I think there was only one season. Probably a limited series. Um, I do know that there is a Lock, Stock and Two Smoking Barrels TV series, which was also, I think, only one season, but that's only available on DVD. So I might have to try and find that. I don't know if there's a Blu-ray release somewhere in the world for that. But anyway, love the film Snatch, so I thought I'd give the series a go, uh, see what it's like. Obviously, it's not going to have everybody like, you know, Brad Pitt in it or anybody like that and Statham. So we'll go, we'll go through it and uh, just check it out. Uh, I picked this one up. They made a mistake on Amazon with the pricing on this one. Was it Amazon or was it HMV? No, it was HMV. HMV made a price error. They put this up for, I think they put it up for like £8 or something. £9, I think it was like nine quid. Uh, and because I used the 20% off, it pull, pulled it down to about 6 99 so, yes, it's The Exorcism uh, with Russell Crowe. Um, no, apparently nothing to do with The Pope's Exorcist, even though it looks the, it looks like a sequel. So I don't know. So uh, I'll give that one a go. Um, if it's a load of old crap, then um, I've only wasted £6.99. <clears throat> uh, I had to pick this one up because uh, it is the end of the trilogy it is maxine of course yes uh, and i'll put this in a nice black case uh really enjoyed this film <laughs> you can tell i was up last late last night yes uh really enjoyed this film um i think probably x is my favorite of the of the trilogy but i really like pearl uh and this was a good closeout this was a good closeout so uh yeah good film Uh, of course, we also have Despicable Me 4, because uh, I always collect all the Despicable Me's. And um, we just get them in very basic Blu-rays now, so they don't even bother with the 4Ks over here anymore. Uh, and we get a slim case that's eco, so they can't even be able to put it in a larger case with a slip cover. So we are losing out big time. So anyway, I've transferred this. I'll put this in a regular case. Uh, because I hate this, the uh, the eco cases. There we go. Despicable Me 4. I went to the cinema to see that one with Claire. Uh, we both really enjoyed that film. Next up, film I haven't seen in a long time. Air America. Yes, with uh, Mel Gibson and Robert Downey Jr. Um, I, I, do you know, I can't even remember a thing about this film. I have no knowledge of this film, so... I don't even know if I actually ever saw it all the way through or just maybe clips. For all I know, I may have only ever seen the trailer. I just cannot remember a single thing. <clears throat> but it'd be good to go into it and watch it in 4K. Uh, next up, I picked up The Predator in 4K. 
I did have this on a Blu-ray. I recently sold it. <sighs> yeah, I recently sold it. Oh dear, I need a pick me up. I seriously need a pick me up. Yeah, I sold it to uh, CEX, the Blu-ray, uh, and I realised that I didn't actually have the Predator on 4K, so I picked this one up off of eBay with a slip cover. Awesome. I know it's not the best of the Predator films, but, you know, I'd like to have it in the collection. Uh, one of my favourites of the year, and still fighting it in the top five for my favourite film of the year, is A Quiet Place Day One, with a really nice slipcover there. Nice and glossy, uh, even though it is in a slim case. Uh, but uh, at least we didn't get an Eco 4K case. Uh, yeah, one of my favourites of the year. Absolutely love this. And for me, this is this is the best of the Quiet Place movies. But we all like the you know we all like different ones. But I just I just gelled to that one more than all the others. It could have been the cat because <laughs> the cat stole the film. And never mind about the characters or the aliens. It was all about the cat. <laughs> Uh, next up, we have Nightmare on Elm Street, uh, a film by Wes Craven. And I'm still trying to piece together whether I've ever actually seen this film. I may have when it came out on VHS. I really just cannot remember. And I cannot remember any particular scene in it. Part, was there a bathtub scene or a bed scene or something like that? Yeah, um, apparently that's not the scene from the film, though. That's from one of the other films. Uh, but it don't really matter, because uh, it looks good. Yeah, so, um, yeah, Johnny Depp's in that. So um, that will have to be a, a watch from the beginning. Really, I should have watched that in October, but I had other stuff to watch, and I just wasn't able to slot it in. Ooh, her missus. Yes. Uh, next up, we have Late Night with the Devil, which is one of the recent pickups. This is like, a, uh, what is that, a, US, uh, a talk show, like a US talk show sort of thing. Uh, and um, they invite some possessed girl on. I've seen the trailer, it looks quite a creepy. So uh, I'll definitely be interested in watching that one. Uh, unfortunately, uh, these uh, second sight um, smaller ones don't come with slip covers. Uh, they did the same with um, another, another one recently that I had to... Uh, Get Inky Prince to do a slip cover for me. Oh, yeah, man. Right, what we got next? Next up, we have Breakdown. Yes, with Kurt Russell. Brilliant film. Not a very long film, less than an hour and a half, but gripping, suspenseful. It's a good thriller. Nice bit of action in there. And, uh, what can I say? It's just a really great film. Uh, and I did have the Australian release. Um, I can't remember what the name of the studio is. Via Vision. Is it Via Vision? It might be. Yeah. Uh, and I just, I sent that one to Kermit because uh, I no longer needed it. But uh, found 4K. Yes, 4K. Apparently the 4K looks really good. Okay. On to a lot of still books. Um now, when I traded a lot of stuff in, I got quite a few vouchers. Well, I got about 150 quid's worth of vouchers. And I was just scouring through CEX a couple of weeks ago, and I noticed that there was about 140 steelbooks that had been taken into Maidstone's CEX. And I looked through them on the website, and I thought, there's a quite a few there that I wouldn't mind actually owning. So uh, on the Blu-ray hunt, I went up there, checked them out, um, made sure there was no dents, scratches, all that kind of stuff, and um, picked up a few. Um, actually, <laughs> hang on, let me move these out of the way, because these are not the ones that I picked up. <laughs> okay, yes, so we have... A bit of Dwayne The Rock Johnson here. This is Jumanji. Uh, which one is this? This is the next level. So some nice artwork on there. Lots of monkeys on the back there. Or baboons. Two discs with some nice artwork. Uh, I don't think any of these actually came with J cards. 
So that's a bit of a shame. Uh, but at least they were selling them, even though they didn't have the uh, BBFC ratings logos on them. Uh, next up, one that I've been trying to get for a very long time, which they had in, was Murder on the Orient Express with Kenneth Branagh. Yeah, really good steel book. I do have the other one as Jewel of the Nile. I think it's Jewel of the Nile. Uh, but unfortunately, they never released a 4K or a steel book for Haunting in Venice. So maybe one day they will release one. Who knows? Or maybe there's there's one out there internationally so that I can complete the um, you know the Poirot steelbook collection uh, this one i used to have in the collection back in the day and i got rid of it this is a day after tomorrow with some nice embossing on the top there very nice steelbook uh, they did have a couple of other steelbooks that i was interested in but uh, i was checking the quality of them and uh, some of them had scratches uh, I don't think many had dents. They just had some scratches and scuffs and stuff like that. This one I used to own back in the day as well. Uh, this is the Jumanji. So this is like the board game. Really nice steelbook. Looks like a wardrobe <laughs> on the back there. This does have a minor scratch or mark on the side there. don't know if you can see it there. It's not very deep. It's just like a very you know a surface one but yeah it's a very nice steel book with lots of embossing on that one and, and, and super glossy and next up the greatest showman i definitely had to get this one uh, i've been trying to get a greatest showman steel book for a very long time and now i managed to get one uh this comes with two discs and it's got a nice thick songbook as well so i'm happy with that and it is uh is is it blu-ray and it's not 4k is it no it's it's got two discs it's got a dvd uh it's got a dvd and a blu-ray oh i thought that was a 4k steelbook obviously not well i can take my 4k out dump the dvd and put the 4k in the steelbook that'd be the best thing to do uh what else we got uh oh yeah the well, second to last of the pickups uh i picked up valerian city of a thousand worlds i think it's called something like that yeah it's a very nice steelbook i never picked it up back in the day but uh, it's a good film. It's kind of like an avatarish type of film. Meets Fifth Element. Uh, it is best to watch in 3D. Uh, but I've I've actually yet to see the 4K version. So I'd be interested to scope the 4K version. Uh, this one I've been trying to get hold of for a flipping long time. Uh, this is the original Shrek. So this is the first film. This is a 4K steelbook. Comes with three discs. Uh, it was 48 quid, so quite an expensive steelbook. And it didn't have a J card, but it's totally mint. And I figured I'm not going to get another one of those anytime soon. Um, and then, of course, I had to pick up Shrek, uh, Shrek the Third. Yeah, Shrek the Third steelbook. Uh, this wasn't from CEX, this was, um, I think this one was from Zavi uh, for £14.99. Yeah, so I had to definitely grab that one. And then I also had to grab Shrek Forever After. I think this one was from HMV with a 20% off discount. So I had to get that one. I'm still missing the sh second Shrek film, so... Um, that's not cheap at the moment. I think it's about 60 quid if you buy it on eBay. So, um, I'll have to have a look around some CEX stores and, uh, see if they have anything. What else have we got? We have 
Sleepy Hollow. Yes, this is the uh, the steel book that I wanted to buy. Um, Johnny Depp, Christina Ricci. I did have like the combined steel book digi book, the white one, the really heavy one, which uh, I actually sold. Um, but uh, yeah, really wanted the black one. Now I have it. Uh, Twisters. This is Twisters. Really nice steel book there with some nice embossing along the title there. Pretty good film. Uh, Glenn Powell and um, Daisy Edgar Jones. Uh, yeah, yeah. Not a, a direct sequel to the original films. Kind of like a reimagine re sort of thing. Uh, and talking of the original film, Twister. Yes, this is the really nice thick box set. Uh, that comes with a really nice steel book inside there and uh yeah um i did do an unboxing for this in one of the blu-ray hunts one of the recent blu-ray hunts so go back and have a look at that but it's a really nice addition and then we have world war z or world war z uh this is a limited edition 4k very nice box set uh comes with uh all sorts of goodies inside there. Uh, and it comes with a, a regular 4K. Uh, I do actually have a steelbook, a World War Z steelbook. And I was toying whether or not to put the steelbook in here with the 4K in it. It was the old entertainment, is it entertainment store release that they did that they numbered the actual outside of the actual steelbook. So I might do that. I'm not sure yet. But anyway, there we go. That is World War Z. I need to get a protector that protector for that. Um, I think it's a little bit thicker than the usual protectors that I've got left over here. I also picked up American Pie, the first film. Uh, this is a limited edition as well from 88 Films. And uh, it comes with lots of bits and pieces inside. I did an unboxing on a blu-ray hunt as well so that's pretty cool uh last one which was probably one of my biggest finds in a charity shop um because it doesn't happen too often and it's not having much luck with charity shops most of the charity shops that i go to now have either stopped selling physical media completely uh or they just have a handful of dvds and that's it uh, and I did speak to someone in, where was it? I think it was British Art Foundation in Dover because they used to have quite a lot, and a lot of Blu-rays. Um, and I had a word with them in there and somebody said that if they don't sell them within, within a certain time period, they just throw them in the trash. Um, and I can vouch for that because a couple of years ago, I was walking down the side of the shop and there was like these dumpsters um, and I found loads of physical media just dumped in the dumpster. That obviously come from the charity shop. It's on one of my videos years ago, but I can't remember which, which one it was. Uh, but uh, yeah, so some shops, I think, you know, if they don't sell them or they think they're going to get more money if they sell them on eBay, they'll, you know, stick them on eBay. But it seems maybe a lot of charity shops just dump, dump them these days. Uh, you only have to go actually go on eBay and look at dumpster divers. You know, look for videos for dumpster divers. And there's just people that go around the country going to all these big dumpsters from shops and charity shops and see what they can find. It's very interesting videos. But anyway, uh, I found this one over Canterbury of all places. And it is the complete Sopranos on Blu-ray uh, in a very big jumbo case. And it was £17, uh, which is actually pretty good. Because uh, I think it's about 80 quid, 60 or 80, I don't know, 60 or 80 quid um, if you buy it brand new. And uh, it's just got crap tons inside it. And I've checked every single disc, perfectly fine. You know, they all look good. And I've also um, cleaned them all as well. Um, the only problem with that is just it's a little bit of a score across there, a little bit of folding but other than that that's perfectly fine yeah there we go so that is it that is everything that i've had delivered uh, and picked up for the month of october so pretty good there um i'm gonna have a revamp of my steelbook shelves very soon because i need to reorganize them properly 
uh, and I need to get more shelves uh, because I have less less shelf room now. Um, yeah, so I need to sort that out. So I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, like it by giving it some thumbs up. Blah. Don't forget to subscribe, comment and share. And I'll see you on the next video very soon. Bye bye.